Hey everyone, this is Home Cooking with Chef Nick, and today I'm going to be making quiche Lorraine. I personally love breakfast. I love all different types of breakfast, and quiche is something that I really do love, um, and you don't have to go out to get it. You can make it right at home. It's really quick, really easy. It's delicious. You're going to love it. All right, so to get started with our quiche, we're going to put in a bowl, two whole eggs, two egg yolks. I'm going to whisk that up. Next, we're going to add one and a half cups of heavy cream. Incorporate the heavy cream to your eggs and yolks. Next, we have half a teaspoon of salt, one eighth of a teaspoon of white pepper. And we got one sixteenth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. You're going to get a little bit of nutmeg flavor from that, but that's more to kind of give it a little bit of earthiness and kind of round out all those delicious flavors that will be. All right, that is your quiche base. A lot of people will put their ingredients, such as I have for quiche Lorraine, the ham and cheese, into the mix. I don't like to do that. I prefer to put those into the bottom of the pie crust first to make sure that they are distributed evenly throughout the quiche instead of just all floating at the top. All right, so now we have our quiche base mixed together. We have our parbate flaky pie dough right here. I'm gonna go ahead and start inputting our ingredients into the pie crust. And again, this is to help get even ingredients throughout the entire quiche. If you were to mix it into the uh, mixture and pour it in, a lot of times all the ingredients like these will just float to the top and then the bottom will have no ham, no cheese, it'll just all be at the top. So kind of just mix these up a little bit like that. Perfect. Pour in our base. Let's do a quick little stir. Just to kind of make sure you get all that everywhere. Maybe even go as far as just tilting it. All right, and now it didn't come all the way to the top of the crust and that's just fine. Um, the eggs are going to rise just a little bit since we did whisk them, so my crust fell in there. Um, if you want a lighter quiche or a little more airy quiche, you're gonna wanna whisk your eggs and your heavy cream a little bit more to kind of aerate it. The air bubbles will make it a little bit more airy. So we're gonna go ahead and get this baked off at 375 for about 30 to 40 minutes or until the quiche base is set. All right, so our quiche just got done baking. We once again cooked it at 375 for about 40 minutes or until it's done. You can tell the crust is nice and brown, golden brown, and the egg started getting a little golden brown as well. One way to, to make sure that you can tell it's done is that when you jiggle it like this, it jiggles like jello. That's gonna, that's gonna let you know that it is done baking. Now the best way to serve it is let it sit for five to 10 minutes and then slice it and serve it warm just like that. Or you could let it cool down completely, maybe for the next day, slice it and reheat it to order. All right, now we're gonna try our finished product here. It's so light, airy, rich, creamy, and so good. Filling throughout, very cheesy. And that crust is just nice and flaky to go with all that really rich uh, filling. So there you have it. We got some great quiche Lorraine. Hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. 